I spent my entire life trying to have professional jobs so that I would not have to get my hands dirty. And now, look at what I'm doing. Hey guys, it's Edward 813 Garden, and we are moving forward and trying to get our fall garden started. I picked up some more plants, and we're at it. And by the way, this I'm trying something new. You see this stuff? This is Pro Mix. It's light, fluffy, and I've never used it before. So we're going to give this a try and see how it works out. But uh, we got some scotch bonnets going on. We have uh, Thai chili, or Thai dragon plants. We have some more jalapenos and a whole bunch of stuff going on. I'm using mycorrhizae and Dr. Earth Dry Amendments. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, guys, so after uh, making a really big mess, I managed to get all of these plants potted. And a total of nine new plants that I got that are going into the tent for now, indoors, because I live in Florida in Zone 9B, and right now it's 92 to 95 degrees and humid every day, and it's just not good for your plants. If you wanna see what happens, in the summertime in Florida, here's a good example. That's a habanero plant, and this is a habanero too. And it is just beaten up so badly because of the bad, the heat. So, these guys are ready to go. They're gonna go into the tent. All right, and I'll show you what the tent looks like. Okay, so here is a tent. We got two lights in here. This is a four by four. Okay, and I'm going to be putting primarily scotch bonnet and habanero plants in this tent. Okay. This is my other tent that I'm sure you've seen in other videos that I've done recently. So this tent, I'm going to put everything but scotch bonnet and habanero. So mainly I'm going to put more of the super hot peppers in here. And take a look at this right here. Those are all scotch bonnet seedlings and then about probably about two weeks or so those will be ready to go in this size pot this guy right here in about two weeks all right so and this this again has a light all right and it works you can see these are I just picked off a couple big peppers and here's a couple here a couple more that are growing and I'm doing this on the inside. This is indoor gardening, just for now. This is not a permanent thing. And our best season for growing in Florida is between October 1st and I'd say May 1st. The weather is great here. Yes, we go through a cold spell, but the plants, they, they do fine, even while it's cold outside. It's chilly outside. We call it cold here. It's, it's basically 60 degrees in the daytime and 40 degrees at nighttime. That's zone 9B. That's as, probably as bad as it gets. Meanwhile, the rest of the country, they're getting snow and all the other stuff. We don't get that. Okay. All right, guys. Tent number two is set up. This is what it looks like. Okay. This is a basic 4x4 four four tent I bought on Amazon. It's called Green Hut. At the time, I got it on one of those Amazon daily deals. It was 50 bucks for a 4x4. Four four. Now it's $107. But this is a way for you to garden indoors in the wintertime. Even if you live in the north and your basement is cold or chilly, you could put one of these tents in your basement and put something underneath it, you know, to separate the floor from the your plants. And that's it, because your lights here, these heat lights, are going to keep the temperature pretty good inside the tent. So you don't have to worry about your plants freezing or not being warm enough because it works, man. These, these, uh, these lights put out a lot of heat. So think about it. Gardening doesn't have to be done, guys. When fall arrives in the northeast and the, the northern part of the country, you can keep going with these, these tents. 
and it's really amazing. I'll keep giving you guys updates as well, you know, like always. I'll show you how these are growing. I'll show you the good and the bad. Like I showed you this plant right here that bl that bloomed and is not uh, it's not blossoming anymore. No more flowers. It still looks fairly healthy, so we'll see what happens with it. I'm sure I'll bring it back around. It's just going to take some time. And that's it, guys. This is another look at my 2x4 tent. Um, I've done several videos with this one right here. And my Scotch Bonnet seedlings. And we're going to keep moving forward. So we got two tents going on. And I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to post a short and a long version of this because many times I do longer videos and they never get seen because YouTube doesn't share them with everyone. So hopefully people will click on the short and there'll be a link from the short to the longer video where you can see all the details and everything I've done today. Thanks guys. I appreciate you. Hope everyone is doing well. Like the video for me, please. If you haven't already, like the video. It's really important. Guys are watching my videos, but no, not many people are liking it. If you care about me and all this stuff that I'm doing to show you guys how to garden in different conditions and I'm sharing everything that I do, hit the like button. Okay? I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. And until next time, if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe. Take care, guys.